All right, guys, fight commentary breakdowns. Um, breaking martial arts news in China. Um, I wanted to give you some background before we see the actual match because this channel wants to talk about context. This is Ma Bao Guo. He's one of the four Tai Chi masters of China that Xu Xiaodong has called out a lot. He is a Tai Chi and a Xing Yi. So he's apparently a master of two uh, martial arts. This is a fake video he did back in the day that Xu Xiaodong called out. Basically, he paid this MMA fighter named Peter Irving to kind of fake spar him and show that his Tai Chi is really good. So this is what got Xu Xiaodong and Ma Bao Guo to have a feud. Xu Xiaodong's like, this is completely fake. And Peter Irving later said, yeah, um, he told me just to like fake punch. He, but then later on, he sold it on Chinese media as, look at me beating an MMA fighter. Peter Irvin thought they were just choreographing, and Ma Bao Guo was selling this as, I'm actually beating an MMA fighter. So this is kind of the context what set it off in 2017. So then, on June 26th of 2017, Ma Bao Guo and Xu Xiaodong arranged a fight. And they were about to fight when, I think, Ma Bao Guo, he realized he wasn't going to beat Xu Xiaodong, especially on this, like, wooden thing he's gonna get his brain smashed Jeez. so his nephew called the cops and then the cops came basically stopped the fight if you guys want to watch that we covered it on our channel too so now comes two years later it's a huge age discrepancy. huge age discrepancy this guy's probably in his 60s Jeez. and i was talking to andy pie the guy who brought bjj and mma to china and andy pie was saying he's not a fan of these matches mainly because these old people can literally get killed by a KO. Easily. Yeah, yeah, so Andy's criticism, and I agree with him, and his it's kind of his criticism of Xu Xiaodong too, is that, yes, it's cool to call out these frauds, but the problem is, if one of these guys actually dies, everything Andy did for 20 years will be gone. Just by the way he's standing, he's completely lost. Yeah. His body posture right now appears as though... I'm somebody who's a fish out of water. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And he's wearing those Tai Chi pajamas too. So um, he's fighting just a hobbyist. This guy fighting is probably my level, if not just a little bit better. Like he's a hobbyist. Jeez. And so Ma Bao Guo, I don't know what got him. How in the world they get away with this? Yeah, that's that's exactly what Andy Pai was saying. Especially, look, they're fighting on the ground. It's not in a ring. It's not in a cage. Because I assume Ma Bao Guo, the Tai Chi master, is saying... Uh, you know, in the cage, in the ring, it interferes with my Tai Chi, interferes with my Kung Fu. Who put this on? Exactly. That's what I don't know. Um, it says uh, Tang Wu Yan or Yan Wu Tang, Yan Wu Tang. So we might have to do some uh, research on that. So look at look at Ma Guo's stance. Uh, yeah, he ate yeah. a right and a left, uh, and that's it. Wow. That's it. Wow. Well, what they call it, or they don't call it. Wait. He thinks he's okay. Oh, he's like stumbling backwards. This is a what kind of stance is that? No, like that's it. That's it. Wow, they're actually letting it continue. Look at, at him. Least he's like, at least his head's not hitting the ground. Yeah. Oh god. Oof, oof. Oh. That that was a coup contra coup oh. right there. That was a coup contra coup right there. Oh yeah. god. I love how both of us saying, yeah, at least his head was not hitting the ground, and then that happened. Man, I can't believe they allowed this to happen. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So he could have a stroke. Yeah, he could have a stroke. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Wow, look at that. He's still on the ground till the end, man. Jeez. Jeez. And you know, Mabo Guo is okay. Okay, guys. I just want to make it sure he was okay after this. But you know, he's old, right? So it took him a little longer. So this is just another angle of the match. And I don't know what he's saying to. Did you see that they're trying to put on Tyson versus Hollywood? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I saw. It. So, Ma Bao Guo is getting some water. Oh, so, this is like some behind the scenes. Uh, Yan Wu Tang. Let me look at this. Um, so, this took place in Hu... I think... Oh, so here they go again. I just... I think the first thing is... He walked right Yeah, right under. into a punch, man. Right into a jab. Like, I... And here's what I think why he did that. In Xing Yi... I mean, Xing Yi has angles, right? But Xing Yi is a very linear type of Kung Fu. Mm -hmm. So... Maybe he was trying to do a Xing Yi attack and, 
you know, walk straight into a jab. There is there is something to stepping on the outside of your opponent's foot or stepping on your opponent's foot, mm-hmm. but you, you don't disregard your entire face. Yeah, exactly, you know? <laughs> exactly. And people who've never fought people like in a this type of pressure test of context would do this, right? Because yeah. they don't understand how much it dazes you to get hit in the face. Right. Can't imagine it being worth any sort of like payday. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look look at how I mean that's already a whiplash right there. Yeah. That's look at that. It's just because he's he has adrenaline. He doesn't realize like even this, mm-hmm. he's gonna feel it for at least six months. Yeah. So but you know he's got adrenaline, he's got ego. So, like you said, this time he fell. He didn't. He didn't smack his head, but he. It was still a whiplash fall. So, what is his art? Um, tai Chi and Xing Yi. Tai Chi. Xing Yi is like a linear form of kung fu. So that's the first time, and then the second time. See, he still seems like he's okay. He's got a very interesting, unique walk. Yeah, yeah. It's he's oh. so he's so off balance. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And notice the the um, MMA hobbyist is without shoes, of course. And this is this is it. Ugh! Oh my goodness! And he's wearing shoes, so he was allowed to wear shoes. Andy Pie sent us another angle. So this was another angle that Andy Pie sent us. Apparently, this has been going viral all over, all over Chinese media, and that that makes Andy Pie really uncomfortable because again, he's afraid. That MMA is just gonna get banned by the Chinese government. This keeps happening. Wow. So this is I never even thought about this until. So, so this is from the other side. Ugh. Oh, yeah. yeah, man. You can see his arms stiffen up. Ugh. So it looks like he got knocked out before he even hit the ground. It's yeah. like he literally like lost consciousness yeah. and then he got an extra cool contra coup. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he guys. Went, he went rigid. Yeah. Like a like a board. Yeah. So I was looking up information of Yan Wu Tang, and I just couldn't find anything, man. You can uh, scan that. Co- is that a code at the bottom there? Oh, <laughs> you're right. That is a code. So let's scan that code. See what happens. Yan Wu Tang. Uh, let's see. Right there. Right there. Come on, scan the code. Please scan. 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 Usually it works, but I guess this code isn't big enough. It took place in Shandong. It took place May seventeenth, which is today. This literally happened today. Wait, what? Yeah, this that literally happened, happened today. Yeah, this happened today. Oh, I guess technically yesterday. Yesterday right? in China. In yeah, China. yeah. So this literally happened. Yeah, Shandong. So um, yeah. I don't see any um. I don't see any like news reports. We can probably search up Chinese social media, see what we get. Um, let's see. Ma Bao Guo. Big shout out to DuckDuckGo. Yeah, big shout out to DuckDuckGo. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to go on Chinese social media. But uh, so let's. This is China, one of China's versions of Google. So this is called Sohu. Sohu. Yeah, it means searching, searching fox. Hmm. So the searching fox. Um. Oh, so he is fifty. Oh no no no. Um, the guy who fought Ma Bao Guo is fifty. Wow. So it was a kind of a fight that could have like ended really badly for both sides. Yeah. Yeah. The Tai Chi master was 69 years old. Oh my yeah, gosh. 69. You could tell he was up there. Yeah. Man. So. That's so irresponsible. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It just. It's not. I'm not a big. And that's why Andy sent this. He, I woke up seeing Andy's messages. Andy's like, Jerry, if you're going to report it, please don't laugh about it. Please don't talk about it the way you used to talk about it, which is like almost like amusement. Mm. And I get why he was so concerned. Mm hmm. Man, I'm just I'm just trying to like you said I I want to see if he's okay. Yeah. Um. This is the most recent one, three hours ago. So this is of course the guy, right? We saw him already. He's got good hair. Yeah, he does have good hair for sixty year. I guess that's what Tai Chi does. It makes you healthy, but don't think of it as a way to to be able to you know um uh, learn how to fight. Mm-hmm. So um. Wang Xingming, I think is the guy he fought. Mm. I don't know if it is. Um, how about Guo? Yeah, I think the guy is the guy he fought. This guy is Wang Xingming. So the guy he fought is a guy who um, he's been a he's been some kind of like 
like uniformed officer before. Mm. So he's done MMA, he's done Sanda. Again, he's just a hobbyist, mm -hmm. you know? Man, this is... So it looks like there's a dispute of his age. This says Tai Chi Master 68, and then there was another news source that said he was 70. So he's up there, that's all mm -hmm. we know. And then... Yeah, I don't... <laughs> he just added seven years to his life. Yeah, he... he, he or just... knocked him off, knocked yeah. off seven years. Exactly. He might have to train twice as hard in Tai Chi for the rest of his life to get those seven years back. Yeah. I mean, I'm not I'm not kidding about that. I know that sounded like a joke, but Tai Chi is really good for your body, man. Just mm -hmm. don't don't think you can fight after you do Tai Chi. Right. Yeah, I don't I don't see anything like get that circulation yeah, going. Yeah, get the circulation going exactly. It's a full body circulation. Oh, this is a different Ma Bao Guo. So here's a news article about Ma Bao Guo making fun of Zhang Wei Li, the Chinese MMA fighter. Uh, wow. So I don't know what he said, but Gosh, yeah, it man. looks like this guy likes to stir up stuff. This was right after Zhang Wei Li's fight, oh, or God. maybe right before. And um, I just, I just don't know what what this guy's deal is. He already ran away from the Shu Xiao Dong fight in 2017. Why? Well, for good reason. I mean, like yeah. that that would have ended just as poorly. Yeah. Probably even worse, but Xu Xiao don't outweigh him a lot more than that MMA hobbyist. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I see. So he's criticizing Zhang Wei Li for saying she's not really using too much kung fu in mm -hmm. her in her fighting. That's what she's saying. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, you know, da fa you der chun. Her her Zhang Wei Li's a uh, fight fight um fight IQ is not good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Really, are you gonna criticize her? <laughs> Yeah, so guys, that's it, man. Um, we'll check up on Mabal Guo. I mean, he is okay. I know he's okay. I just don't know where he is now. Again, he doesn't even know where he is now, like Rob says. But <laughs> irresponsible, man. Irresponsible of Chinese promotions. And um, by covering it, I want to make sure to emphasize that. Because in the past, we didn't know as much about all this. And so we all came at it as more of like an academic slash amusement point of view. But now that we're seeing the actual ages of this stuff, and we're seeing that, you know, there was a ref, which is good, but according to, like, the Kung Fu guy's requirements, it was not on a padded surface, man. Mm. That just... I fell once um, on wood, and I smacked my head, and I had a little mild concussion. Mm. But, you know, that messed me up in college. I couldn't spell well sometimes. Yeah. So, you know, I probably still, when I'm typing... I still mess up sometimes. I don't even notice I messed up. Probably yeah. I still have some brain damage. So. Yeah, that's definitely, it was a scary KO. Yeah. I really hope he's okay. I hope it's not like some sort of cover-up propaganda thing. Yeah, yeah. Guys, I'll keep you updated. I don't know um, where Ma Bao Guo is, but, you know, Andy Pai says Ma Bao Guo is okay. But, again, uh, the promoter should be in jail. That's what Andy Pai says. Yeah. The promoter should be in jail. I hope this teaches a lesson to all wannabe promoters. Stay out of the MMA business or the fight business in general unless you are prepared to run real fights and not circus acts. Mm -hmm. That's what Andy Pai says. And I agree with him. Yep. Because as funny and as amusing as this is, the Chinese government is looking, looking for reasons to shut this down. I just know. The Chinese government is looking for reasons to shut this down. And this will give them ample reason if something happens. So, just my thought. Let us know what you think, man. Like on a Jerry Breakdown. That's right. Jerry and Rob.